Hey guys, welcome to this Markup RxP video where I'm going to be showing you uh, the, the process and the techniques I use to line up the grid in single page mode. I get a lot of questions uh, and emails every week um, from users who are maybe sort of new to Markup RxP and who would like to know how to align the grids. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to go through the, the four step process that I use pretty much for every single uh, chart that I align. And then I'm going to go through this example, which uh, shows the, uh, the, the, the process in action. Okay, so first off, what are the principles that I follow? So these are the four steps I usually follow uh, to align my charts on a single page in Markup RxP. Step number one is a visual inspection. And this is really just to identify any obvious errors with the chart. Um, is there anything um, like, like uh, are the grid lines straight or are they bendy? If I've got bendy grid lines, I know that I'm not really going to be able to to get things straight. Uh, and this can save you a lot of time uh, once you're aware of what to look for. Uh, step number two, is the chart in the correct orientation? Uh, not all designers put that chart in the correct orientation. And so uh, it, it's usually a fairly straightforward process to do this. Step number three is to align the grid boundary. Uh, charts can be slightly rotated on the page um, so we do need to address that. And once you've uh, adjusted for any slight rotations, it's about getting the boundary set. Once the boundary set by yourself, that's fixed. Mark bar XP won't change the boundary once it's defined. And then the final step is once you've got the boundary defined on the page, is literally to set the grid lines. And we have two options when we come to set the grid lines. We can use uh, the pattern matching uh, built in the markup RxP to automatically set up those grid lines and that uses uh, the contrast feature to give our markup RxP more or less visual data for matching grid lines or you can override this and choose to manually set the grid lines and all this will do is it will look at the current grid boundary and evenly space the rows and columns that you define between those boundaries. And that, in a nutshell, is the four steps that I use to align grids in single page mode on any chart with Markup Bar XP. Okay, with those principles in mind, this chart's already been loaded through the auto loader process. And now I'm going to open up the chart and just take a look. So step one, when this chart loads is visual inspection. And at first pass, the grid at a very high level looks okay. But I, I do notice here down this side that the, the raw numbers seem to be overlapping. So let's just zoom in. And I can see here that Mark Bar XP has actually included the center line marker on the chart. And that's also included the raw numbers. So that this is part of the visual inspection. I can also tell, um, Looking around, that doesn't look quite clear here. If I zoom in, you can see here that some of the, the horizontal line, uh, the vertical lines here, sorry, aren't aligned correctly with the underlying chart. So the visual inspection is, is telling me I've got a, a decent quality chart, a decent quality underlying chart, but because this chart has a lot of color on it, Marco Bar XP has found it a little bit more difficult to automatically uh, lay out the grid. And it hasn't got it quite right. It's got it close, but not quite right. Um, so the visual inspection, that's telling me you need to adjust the grid. So let's click on the settings here and we can uh, go and adjust the grid like so. This now moves us into step number two, which is chart rotation. And I can look at that. And I don't need to rotate my chart in 90 degree increments. I'm quite happy with the, the orientation of the chart. So that's correct. So that's step two done. I don't have to make any changes there. So let's continue. And now we're into step three. So step three 
What I want to do when I get into the grid editing page is to make sure that the grid boundary is correct. So if we look at our chart outline options, we have the free drag. Now the free drag option exists if your uh, chart is slightly rotated on the page. So let's investigate to see if our chart is slightly rotated. Oh, and what's happening here is because the four corners of the chart are visible on the chart, it means that the whole grid will move. If that happens, just press the undo button like that, and it will move the chart back to where you want to be. So we're gonna we're gonna zoom in, and I'm gonna have a look. And if we zoom right in, you can see here that there is a blue line going along. It's actually underneath the red line here, and I'm just gonna zoom along. You can see this blue line. Here. Now this blue bounding box that surrounds your chart is the straight uh, bounding box that Mark Bar XP places and we can use that as a reference to see if our chart is rotated. So in this case the blue line and the red line of the chart are actually lined up quite nicely. So that's telling me that my chart is not rotated on the page so I don't need to use the free drag option. Okay that's great. But we're still trying to set up our grid boundary here. And so what we want to know is, well, okay, here, we need to adjust the grid to exclude this center line marker. So we're gonna drop on there, the magnifying glass comes up, and I'm just moving that in ever so slowly. And you can see we're coming to the end of the center line marker. And I'm just gonna drop that on there. And that's the grid boundary outline. So I've checked this one. I checked the top, he looks good. And if you're not sure, on whether your grid boundary, remember you can zoom in and out to have a look at these things. If you're not sure that a grid boundary is right, just tap on it and he looks okay. Okay, and we go down the bottom, like so. So my four, there we go. So my four grid boundaries are okay, but I can also sort of see here that the horizontal lines are slightly out. So that's step three. So we've now, we've done the visual inspection. We've checked our chart rotation. And now we've uh, accounted for any minor rotation in the chart and set the grid boundary. So that leaves these two last options to adjust the chart contrast or to manually set the chart size. So what are these two options? Okay, so first off is we, we can go into adjusting the chart contrast. Now, when we press this button, this is the view that Markup RxP sees of your chart. And you can see that it's picked up a, a lot of the symbols here. And it's also got these lines here. Okay, so um, I was gonna show you something, but I'm gonna leave it for the time being. We can see that that's not quite right. So we can start adjusting the chart contrast. Now to give you an idea of what to understand actually what chart contrast is, is if we increase this value to 100%, the chart goes completely black because Marco Bar XP has filled everything in, okay? And if we reduce it right down, remember, look at the chart size there, says zero, zero. If you reduce it right down, you can see that it's only picked up a grid of nine by 10 because it's only picking up the thinner grid lines and it's picking up some of these grid lines, uh, uh, symbols here. So if we start increasing this value, you can see marker bar XP starts to start filling in the chart. Yeah, we've got a little bit more detail, but we've still got no grid lines. So here, we've now picked up 96 horizontal lines. So it's picked up the rows, but it hasn't picked up so let's just increase that to say, uh, I don't know, 70, something along those lines. All right, now Marco Bar XP has picked up the grid lines going up and going down. This is all automatically picked up by Marco Bar XP, purely based on the contrast value. Now I can see here that the grid lines aren't quite correctly aligned and here as well as I zoom across. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna zoom in on that area and I'm just gonna just adjust the grid line, uh, the contrast just a little bit, just to see. So I'm just moving it down. You can see how Marco Bar XP slowly starting to, there we go. So at 67% in this particular chart, Marco Bar XP is then able, there we go. And we've got a good alignment at the top. And that looks 
let's turn the you can turn the contrast off it's not bad alignment at the bottom either so we could go down the route and say yes we're done and click the done button and we've got 93 by 96 that's using the contrast value and that's allowing marker bar xp to automatically detect the vertical and um, horizontal lines within your defined grid boundary that's one option but another option that you have is you can say well actually no i'm not going to use the contrast you could leave the contrast setting i want to manually set the number of rows and number of columns within my grid boundary and this is where we use the set the chats the set chart size option okay so in this case let's have a look so at the minute the set chart size is not enabled because the reset button hasn't been touched and this is how i tell so as soon as you make a change to either the width of the height in set chart size now it's gone white that's when set chart size is enabled I should really put something on there to say this is the, the version or the, the, the method that's being used to set up your chart. So we'll reduce that back down to 93. So we've set up this side of the grid and we've set up that side. And I'm saying there's 93 columns. And if we look, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 2, 3, that's looking quite good. So that's aligned quite nicely. Okay. And then here, the height wise, we've got, we can see there, that it's starting to come out so it's not actually aligned so let's what happens if we add an extra one so 96 so that's aligned that quite nicely and that's our grid nicely aligned just by specifying the number of rows and columns that we have now something that you may come across is if you haven't aligned your grid boundary correctly so let's just move him out a little bit so it's got the right number of rows and columns because we know that but if your grid boundary is not correctly aligned can you see how these lines here are slightly misaligned? They're all slightly misaligned. And as you move across the chart, it kind of aligns correctly at this side. So it's saying, yes, this side's correctly aligned. But as we move across, this side's not. So what I do is I get my finger. I just put it on there and I just roll. I'm not taking my finger off. I'm just rolling my finger. Like that, and I let go. That goes on and boom. That's it aligned. So you can mess about with that and you can align the top and the bottom to make sure your rows are aligned and the left and right hand side to make sure all your columns are aligned. Once you've done that, um, you can then quickly, oh, see how again I've moved the grid again. Don't worry about it. Just hit the undo button. It's coming to adjust chart contrast and that all looks good. So we'll hit, yes, we're done. And that is your chart lined up on that page. So just to recap, it's a four stage process. Visual inspection, is it a valid chart? Um, are there any major errors with the chart? You can save a lot of time by detecting any problems up front before you even start to go through this process. Second step, is the chart in the correct orientation? Do I need to rotate the chart? Third step, define the grid boundary if your charts rotated on the page you need to get that chart straight on the page for the best results in marker bar xp once that grid boundary has been defined and you've set those limits then you can use two options you can either use marker bar xp's contrast to help marker bar xp automatically detect the rows and columns or you can use the set chart size to manually set and it will the manually setting it will evenly space the rows and columns within the defined grid boundary area. And that's it. You can rinse and repeat this process for the remaining pages in your chart and hopefully you will get the right chart size as they all stitch together and you should be up and running in a matter of minutes. It shouldn't be taking you a long time to set your grids up. Um, I hope that explains how the, uh, the the process, I hope it explains well the process that I use for aligning charts uh, when I get um, projects in. Um, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. If there's anything you would like to see in particular as well, 
uh, maybe a different video explaining something else. Let me know and I'll get those videos created. Uh, I hope that's helped. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, thanks very much.